A beautiful day for cross country as Oswego East hosts one of the 3A regional meets. Three heats of races with the first heat made up of each team's top two runners. Then the threes and fours in heat two and heat three ending the day with the fifth, sixth and seventh runners. Plenty of great runners in the first heat led by Nicholas Dovolovsky from Nequa Valley and Arthur Graham from Naperville Central. Naperville North also one of the favorites with Julian Head and Gabe Ryan always near the front. Aiden Oster and Zach Benziger from Wabonzi Valley are more than capable as well. At the first mile, Dovolovsky pulling out in front ahead of teammate Aiden Stone and Arthur Graham and Brandon Camp from Naperville Central. Oswego runners Balin Dowd and Ethan Forcell right there with Oswego East, represented by Alex Das and Nick Hens. Dovolovsky beginning to pull away near the second mile with Graham just a little bit back. Julian Head, Aiden Stone, and Gabe Ryan right behind them. Jackson McClellan from Moline also right near the top seven. In the end, it's Dovolovsky continuing his outstanding season, crossing the line first with a time of 15 minutes, two seconds. Arthur Graham in second at 15.09, Julian Head in third, Aiden Stone fourth, and Brandon Camp in fifth. Oster and Benziger both in the top 15 for the Warriors. Over to the second heat of the afternoon, Nico Valley sitting in first place after the first heat, followed by Naperville Central, Naperville North, and the Oswegos. The top five teams will make the sectional meet in Chicago next week, as will the top five individuals not on one of those five teams. Naperville North represented by Chase Burrell and Tommy Paltzer in this heat, while Wabonzi Valley needs some good time from Ethan Marshall and Angel Solis to crack the top five. Chase Burrell ends up winning the heat by a wide margin with a time of 15.34, the seventh best time of the day. Nicholas Keeling from Naperville Central is second in the heat, followed by Noah Scolio from Nequa Valley and Angel Solis. Austin Burke from Nequa just holds off Tommy Paltzer from Naperville North. On to the third heat as it's a race between Nequa Valley and Naperville North for the regional championship. Wabonzi Valley and Naperville Central battling for third, and Oswego comfortably in the fifth place spot. At the first mile, Oswego near the front with Vasant Fong, Steven Smiley, and Jacob Rollwing from Nequa Valley. Nick Williams from Naperville North also there with Jacob Tucker, Joey Sweeney, and Andres Perez from Obanzi Valley, and Luke Noren from Naperville Central. Jacob Tucker from Obanzi with a fantastic finish, helping the Warriors edge Naperville Central by one point for third place. He holds off Nick Williams from North, who ends up in the top 20. The Huskies hold off Nequa Valley and win the regional by a single point. A great race all around as the season comes to a close next Saturday at sectionals on Halloween. Yeah, I mean, it's always definitely easier to run with a pack, but this whole year I've been trying to um, work on, I mean, running solo. I, I'm, I've never been known for someone who could be, you know, good at time trials or running by myself, but um, I'm a competitor, so if there were people up, me, up there with me, I, uh, you know, I'll compete with them. I'd say it did change up our strategy a little bit because we're used to running with our with the whole group of four or five guys from our team. So it's a little different though. Me and him have been practicing a lot in practice together on racing dynamics for a couple weeks now. So I think overall we kind of had a rough idea of how we wanted to run it. Obviously this is the fastest race so it's a little harder to stay with that front pack but our main goal was to try to pick off as many guys who fell back from it as possible. And it was nice too that in most of our uh, dual and uh, triangular meets this year, we would race against the same teams that were placed into our uh, conference. And then with that, like racing in our conference, racing against these really high, high ranked teams, these really like developed teams, we were able to actually get a sense of what our regional and sectional could look like without even really running them or seeing what teams were in it, just because of the teams that we would already go against throughout the regular season.